Steve Smith, the Rivera's report there on the Panthers to get an update on the breaking news involving a police involved shooting. Let's listen in to Miami Police spokesperson Freddie Cruz. Great. All right. We'll do it. Third try. Ready? All right, so shortly after 2 p.m., our officers arrived at the area of Northwest 7 Court at 57th Street, uh, where uh, the call for service was an individual that was possibly under some sort of a narcotic, a very erratic. Uh, they, once they arrived, they were met with this individual, which was armed with some sort of a sharp object. Uh, this individual failed to, uh, to you know, to uh, communicate with any of our verbal commands. Our officers did make the determination to deploy the taser with no effect whatsoever. Whatsoever. Uh, the individual still had that sharp object in his hand. One of our officers did make that determination to uh, deploy the, uh, to fire their firearm for the, their safety and everyone's safety. Uh, at this moment, I can tell you that the individual is in critical but stable condition at Jackson Memorial Hospital. As you can see, it's a very active scene behind us. Uh, FDLE is on scene, our detectives, we have our crime scene technicians, and we're going to be here for quite a while so we can get to the bottom of this. But again, this is uh, something that, you know, unfortunately, it's a part of the business. Um, you know, we are here for everyone's safety, and this individual, like you, like you can see, uh, I mean, he was just very erratic and uh, was not complying with our officers. Officers believe they had no other choice but to shoot this man. They believe they had no other choice but to shoot. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Officers believe they had no other choice but to shoot this man. That was a determination that the officer made. Again, this is a very active scene, um, and, I, and I will say again, we did deploy the taser to, w w with no effect. Have investigators been able to determine what that object that he was holding is? Uh, that's still under investigation what it is, uh, but what I'm being told, it, it, it was a sharp object, possible knife, uh, not exactly sure. Have you seen the video, Freddie, the cell phone video? I, I have. It appears that man is doing, sort of sort of wielding the knife as he's sort of stumbling or lunging forward. Is that accurate or no? Well, I can't comment. I wasn't here, but like I said, what you guys saw in the video is the same thing we're seeing. But again, our detectives at DLE's on scene, they're going to go through every piece of information every piece of evidence and again just it's an unfortunate incident uh you know but that's you know it's for everyone's safety the reason i ask is and just just to reiterate was there no other choice that these officers had but to shoot at this man it sounded like 10 to 11 times well and i'll repeat it they did deploy the taser so they had the non-lethal a weapon that they used that had no effect so then that officer made that determination to fire for everyone's safety uh they felt that their life was in danger. Was it more than one officer who fired a gun? Uh, at this moment, it was just one officer that fired you, a gun. In you know the video, who called police? I'm sorry? Who called police? I don't have that information. I'm in sorry. the video, he picks up his shirt and even puts his hands up at one point, and we've seen the video comes off the steps. Um, like Sheldon said, there was multiple shots fired at the same time. So could it be that multiple police fired at that man? Yeah, I, I can't get into those details right now. Like I said, that's the part of the investigation that FDLE and our detectives are handling. Uh, all those details, I can just tell you the basics of what uh, you know of what occurred. And again, uh, like I told Sheldon, we did deploy the taser. I believe it was three or four different tasers with no effect. For clarification, sake, because the video is a little hard to hear from the officer's side. Did they tell him to put down the alleged sharp object before they tased him, and then did they say it again before they shot him? I don't have those details. Witnesses out here say, you know, they feel they're really upset about all how All right, you've been listening to City of Miami Police spokesman Freddie Cruz talking about a police involved shooting that occurred around two this afternoon in the city of Miami. And you heard him talk about the fact that the individual apparently approached a police officer with a sharp object, forcing the officer to open fire. They did try to tase the individual, he said, but to no avail. We'll have much more ahead on this story, of course, on CBS News Miami coming up at six o'clock.